Hey you guys, welcome to the first episode of the Yamaha XT200 um, build. Um, so I just started um, doing little things, really not that much, so let me show you. I did end up putting the tires to the bike. Um, my, I really didn't put them on, I just mounted them and like I still have to clean stuff up and like put new brake pads and just clean stuff. I don't even have the brake drums in, on there. I just wanted to have this frame to be rolling so I can move it around and inspect things. Um, first and foremost, the thing that I really want to know about is the engine. Um, to me, it's the most important thing on a bike. Um, I want to know if the engine even turns over freely. Um, so I um, ended up, when I received the bike, a little background when I received the bike, um, this part of the cover was open with the clutch basket. And um, right now, the clutch basket is not on there because I just recently removed it. So that's one part. That's the friction disc and the and the uh, disc brakes on there. And then I have this part right here and that right there. And so um, once I remove that, um, I did notice that on the back of the the clutch basket or whatever this part is, I really don't know. Um, and I still haven't received. I haven't purchase a um shop manual for this specific bike um but when i remove this i just noticed there's these scars right here and like uh, scratches um that are right here this is not normal so um upon removing that i have noticed that the reason that those scratches and scars and gauges were there was because of this right here and I don't know if you can tell from my this point of view that I'm showing you like it looks perfectly fine but if, if I just take you like a little bit more up right here you can see that this gear right here is kind of tilted um the top part is fine, but like the bottom part is like angled towards me, and this is not supposed to be like that. Um, it's this thing is supposed to be straight. Um, so I guess when this was turning, um, it was scratching that back part of the the clutch basket. So like every time it was turning, this part right here was scratching that clutch basket. So um. I'm thinking right now that maybe the rod that whatever this goes into or or whatever rod this or this gear is supposed to be the rod that goes here um is bent um I have no idea I don't have any background about this bike um this bike was given me to a friend who had it stored in their garage for several years um so they gave it to me with the title so i'm just finally um uh getting into trying to see if i can get this thing running um so like yeah i knew when i got this bike um once i saw that that um side panel open and the the clutch basket was loose i i kind of figured like there's gonna be something up with the engine or at least this side um i was hoping it was just this side but it looks like this rod right here might be bent and i'm not sure if i'll have to disassemble this whole engine entirely to fix this or if I, if I could just get away with um, just uh, removing this one rod from the side right here and trying to fix that. Um, but stay tuned and we'll figure this out. So here I'm just going to try to show you guys um, those gauges that were happening because of that bent rod when the gear was spinning so it was hitting it in different places. 
and it's yeah you can tell like it was offset because like God right here no God right here and then God off I mean you can see a little bit but um yeah I still don't know if this um, clutch basket is gonna have to be the whole thing entirely is gonna have to be replaced or not um but um when it comes to engine work like I'd rather be safe and just go ahead and replace this whole part um I really didn't want to spend a whole lot while rebuilding this motorcycle, but um, I mean it's worth it. It was a free bike, so I, I feel like it's worth it. So the next step that I'm going to do is try to take out this hair clip that's right here. And um, let me just try to clean it a little bit right here. So I'm going to try to remove this hair clip right here that goes around this so what I'm going to be using is my little circuit pliers so what I do stick these two in here and while you do this you always want to wear um, safety glasses goggles or anything because you um, when you sh extract these um, they could just bounce around and you want to protect your eyes so here they are you see that how they comes out and then So that's that, and this should come out. So, just try to pull this out. There you go. Oh shit! Okay. Whew! This is a bigger problem than what I thought. Yep. Um. Actually. Yeah, wow. <laughs> this is a a bigger problem. So once I remove uh, the circ clip that was holding that gear, um, I had noticed right away that there was a... So right here, there's a crack right here. And then <laughs> when I look closely, um, look, crack right here, this whole case on the right side is offset, so right here there's a crack, and it goes all the way back here, around, right here, and, um, right here, right there up to right here um i wish this camera could focus but where i'm touching right here it's supposed to be flush to right here so there's a really good like half inch distance of offset where this and this is supposed to be flush but it's not reason why um that gear or this rod was crooked bent and that gear was offset and um scratching and gouging um the back side of the clutch basket so this is the problem with this bike and i'm pretty sure this is the problem of or this is a culprit of why this bike has been not being used hasn't been running for so many years I knew when I received this bike um, there's gonna be some engine issues I wasn't I just wasn't sure it was gonna be this much damage this whole engine's gonna have to be taken apart because um, that's a lower ride case crane case and it has to be replaced totally if I decide to um, fix this engine because I still don't know um, I was kind of hoping that this would be a low-budget motorcycle build 
but apparently it's not every time you get into the engine like it's like it's a whole fucking process you find multiple things that are damaged and you have to buy different parts and um and even if you fix the engine um this bike is in, is in pretty rough condition so I'm def it'll definitely need more parts so, um next step is to analyze this whole engine thing see the availability of parts that are available um and just try to see if i actually really want to spend some money on this i mean i'm it's it was a free bike with a title so like i mean that's great but um it's a 1982 motorcycle yamaha XC200 so I just need to do a little bit of more research and find out um, if it's worth fixing it. I definitely do not want to spend a whole lot. To me, I love getting into engine work. Um, this is a Yamaha. It's an engine that I've never been inside of so I mean I want to learn but consider if I mean my budget and the time and so yeah that's it um so this is the first part of this uh, Yamaha rebuild stay tuned and see if I end up working on this continuing with what I'm gonna be doing with this bag so take care you guys